I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and we'll run a verify and kind of see what we get from there. So first thing when we get ready to run our verify is I want to come up here and select my simulator options and that's the little black box with the little settings or gear and I just want to come in and sh make sure that I have stock setup selected and for my fixtures down at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and turn on my fixtures make sure I'm on levels and I'm going to turn on level 3 this way whenever I run my verify it's going to bring my part my stock and the vice that I set up as well so I'm going to select this icon which is our verify selected operations and I'll left click on there and let that open and notice we have our face mill our stock and our vice and we'll slow this down just a little bit because it's going to run fast I'm going to select a stop condition say operation change and we'll go ahead and change our colors so each tool is a different color so I'm going to hit play we'll let this face this off and now it comes to our half inch end mill that's going to do all of our opti rough and it is making a few passes around there to make sure we're safe now it's going to start taking the corners off I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just a little bit we can get on through it and you can see now that we've pretty much roughed our part down to almost a near net finished part we're staying just above our vise which is nice we know that we're not going to run into our part or run our, our end mill into our vise so that looks pretty good I like it I'm going to go ahead and green or X out of there and we're going to set up uh, just because this is a longer operation we're going to go ahead and set up a stock model that we can use for the rest of our programming on this part so whenever we get ready to run verify again we don't have to rerun all of these operations so I'm going to set a stock model up here on number two I'm going to come up here in my toolpaths tab again come over to stock model I'm going to go ahead and give this a name and I'm just going to call it op one rough our stock plane is going to be top uh, for my color I'm just going to go pick a random color uh, for this to be so once it regenerates I'll be able to know the difference between my actual part model and my stock for my initial stock shape I'm gonna go ahead and go to rectangular and then I'm just gonna come down here and say use my stock setup we've already set that stock up so there's no need for us to go try to reset the stock up if we've already done it and then we'll need to come over to the left and set up our source operation so the source operation is what operations are we going to use to create that stock model. So we want to use our facing and our 3D high speed dynamic. I'll green check. It's going to regenerate and rebuild. And as it's regenerating here, we'll give it a minute. It's got a lot of things. There we go. So there it regenerated. And now we have something that looks real similar to our part in a roughed out state so pretty nice um, anything that we change uh, above that in facing or the 3d high speed uh, opti rough will affect our stock model so be aware of that that if you do make a change in these operations you'll have to regenerate the stock model as well the next thing that i want to cover or talk about is some advances in our 2d dynamic so we do have a little bit of material left um, around the bottom of these faces here that we need to take care of um, we could take care of this face uh, go ahead and finish it uh, in our opti rough as well but we'll go we're going to take care of it in just doing uh, with our 2d dynamic because i want to cover some of that 